the dashboard lock extension adds an additional layer of protection for your main WP dashboard without needing complex HT access modifications. Let's open the extension page and examine the options. They are divided into two categories, the front-end redirect rules and dashboard lock. With front-end redirect, anyone who visits your dashboard site will be sent to or redirected to a different URL of your choice. For example, if we set this to google.com and visit our main WP dashboard in an incognito window where we are not signed in, we will be redirected to Google. If you need to exclude certain pages from redirection, add the page slugs in the Exclude Slugs from the Redirection field. It's enough to add just a page slug. So, instead of using a full URL like this, you would only use the slug. Next up is the Dashboard Lock category, which is concerned with limiting access of the WP Admin area of your dashboard site. Allow Login from IP will restrict access to your login page to only those with the whitelisted IP addresses. This is a great option if you have a static IP address. For your convenience, you can see your current IP address right below. The next two options, Admin Area Lock and Login Page Lock, are essentially our implementation of the HTTP Basic Authentication, but with added tweaks so it doesn't interfere with WP Crone and Main WP functionality. Admin Area Lock will restrict access to all pages of the WP Admin, which also includes all pages of the Main WP Dashboard while the login page lock will restrict access only to the WP login page. Let's set a username and password for the login page and see how it looks in action. When you try to load the login page, you will be prompted to enter the username and password. After you do and click sign in, only then will the WP login page load and offer the opportunity to sign into WP admin. Locks can be removed individually simply by deleting the respective values and clicking Save Settings, and you can also remove all locks at once by clicking the Remove Locks button. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more updates from MainWP.